the format of the robot. Hi, my name is Kyle. When I heard about a strange Super Mario Bros. NES bootleg made from an unknown designer that was up for sale on eBay, I was intrigued. I wasn't a collector, but he figured I could pay the asking price, and turn a profit if it was rare enough. The item arrived with some fanfare, the box was covered in glowing symbols and strange characters, unlike any other Mario game. Excited, I opened the game and popped it into my NES system, and mentally braced myself for the weirdness of the bootleg. But nothing could have prepared me for what I experienced. The levels were strange, almost surreal. Super Mario turned into a creature of nightmares, hopping and stomping on gruesome creatures, from horrifying jellyfish-like mollusks to giant spiders dripping venom. Everything was cruel and distorted, and there was something very wrong about the entire experience. What's worse, throughout the game, I found various references to the dark web, Illuminati-like symbols, and other cues suggesting a sinister presence at work. Even scarier, the closer I got to the end of the game, the more impending sense of doom seemed to seep into the atmosphere. The ending of the game was what traumatized me the most, a giant golem with the face of Bowser appeared, and mercilessly pounded Mario with clenched fists, until he lay motionless on the ground. The credits roll, but I refused to watch, as my curiosity and excitement had been warped into fear and dread. I ultimately sold the game on eBay, luckily to a collector who would appreciate this strange and grotesque bootleg. But I will never forget the experience, and the feeling of horror and dread that the game had inspired in me.